oh my goodness guys so you know the scripture where Jesus says you have to forgive someone 70 times 7 if they sin against you and that if they sin against you many times in the day 70 times in the day you still got to forgive them every single time they come to you and repents you forgive them again and again and I'm just thinking hmm what kind of person comes to a person and sins against them 70 something times in a day that you have to forgive them 70 times in a day and I was like um whoa <laughs> that person must have really loved offending that other person and then I really thought about it and I realized that um you know when we have thoughts like a person can offend us one time right or sin against us one time but yet throughout the whole day we are replaying that scenario in our heads we are replaying their words in our heads it's just a replay it's a repeat a cycle that's going on and we're getting offended we're stabbing ourselves again and again with their words and we are offending ourselves and we're just thinking about it and then I realized oh my goodness this is what Jesus means by forgetting, forgiving someone 70 times 7. And so, um, if someone sins against me or someone um, offends me, then the Holy Spirit has taught me, hey, forgive them right away. The moment that you have that thought, that moment that repeat comes on and you replay that scenario in your head, just forgive them right away. Because we want to be aware of the devil's devices, okay? What is a device? A device, by definition, is a well-oiled machine that keeps on running even when the owner isn't present, okay? So the devil knows the devices he plants. And one of the devices is bitterness and unforgiveness. And there's also this thing called patterns and cycles of repeat that John Ramirez taught me. And guys, this this will save you a lot of pain, okay? Let me tell you this. So, um, sorry for the shaky video, okay? Um, my room where I record videos, I lent it out to somebody. So, they're using that room now. So, I'm just recording videos on the fly. But, <laughs> sorry for the shakiness. Okay. This will save you a lot of pain. So, when you know that pattern and cycle of repeat is coming up, and you're being offended again and again, just replaying that scenario in your head. That's not you, that's the devil, okay? It's one of his devices. So what you could do, you could break it in Jesus' name. Just, just pray this. I break that pattern and cycle of repeat in Jesus' name. Any mind control spirit, I cast you out right now in Jesus' name. Any mind control spirit, I cast you out. I loose your grip from me because mind control spirits, they just grab on to your head and you got to loose the grip from you. This will help you guys a lot, okay? Just say, I loose your grip from me in Jesus' name and I cast you out of me right now. I break the patterns and cycles or repeat in Jesus' name and I cast you out right now. And that will help a lot because the replaying the scenario, that's what the devil is doing. It's not you doing it okay you naturally don't want to stab yourself over and over again with the offense why would anyone naturally want to do that it's a demonic thing of course because it's not your natural flesh wanting to do it your natural flesh what does it want to do it wants to reproduce eat drink and sleep like why would your natural flesh want to replay a scenario that hurts it it's not you it's demons so just break it in Jesus name we have that Jesus gave us his blood and his name you might as well start being set free you know conquering your deliverance as John Ramirez would say man and so let me see if that's it oh so yeah that's in my opinion that's what Jesus means when he says forgive someone 70 times 7 70 times 7 means completely with your whole heart but it could also mean like you gotta forgive that person 70 times a day i'd be like okay i forgive i forgive i forgive oh my goodness the thought just came up i forgive you again i forgive you again and that just cuts it off it cuts it off from bitterness and offense from rooting itself inside your heart 
You do not want bitterness and offense to grow up like a weed in the garden of your heart that's meant for fellowship with you and God. Forgive me for the printer sound in the background. This ain't studio quality, guys. I'm sorry. In the future, though, I'm hoping I would finally have studio quality videos. <laughs> but for now, I really hope this has blessed you guys and helped you to conquer your deliverance so that you can stay free. Stay free, guys. Stay free. We were made to trample on serpents and scorpions by the power of Jesus, okay? His Holy Spirit lives in us. We were not made to be stepped on by the dirty foot of the devil with his foot on our back all day long. We were not made to walk like that. The glory that we lost in the garden, Jesus restored fully, you know? No more living by the devil's devices and being put in his snares. We are set free from that and we're gonna live free. Remember what Jesus told Peter? Other than the 70 times seven thing? He also said, on this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. What else did Jesus say? I have given you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over, what's the word, what's the word people? Over all, A-W-A-L-L, -L. oh my goodness, I can't spell right now. <laughs> over all the power of the evil one, over all the power of darkness, okay? You are, we are made to trample on that. We are children of light, we are sons of light, and we wear the armor of light. We have nothing to do with darkness, okay? And here's another tidbit that will help a lot. Okay, listen to this. We are the salt and light of the earth, okay? Salt and light, remember that. That's what Jesus said too. We are the salt and light. And what does salt have to do with darkness? I mean, what does light have to do with darkness? Nothing. Light and darkness cannot combine together. Have you ever seen a light and a dark thing like combine together? Nah, -uh. light is light, dark is dark, okay? They don't mix. And how about salt? Salt cannot mix with whatever the salt is laying on, okay? The moment the salt mix with it, it becomes tainted and it beco doesn't become pure anymore. Okay, so does the light have to move around? No, the person who holds the light moves it around, okay? And does salt move around by itself? No, the person who holds the salt moves it around and pours it on wherever salt is needed, okay? Wherever there's germs, wherever there's um, rottenness, wherever there needs some flavor, that person puts the salt on, okay? God owns us, okay? He owns us and he will place us where light is needed. He will place us where salt is needed. And right there, where you are, you be the salt and the light of the world, okay? Right there where you are. And if God wants to move you, he will move you right to where salt and light is needed. Okay, because he created the world. He know where the salt, he needs salt and light in this world. Okay, so we don't have to worry about being all like, I need to move here and I need to move there. And oh my goodness, salt and light, don't think that way. Okay, the only thing that is your main responsibility. Here it is. Listen closely. You must remain the light and you must remain the salt, okay? You must remain lighty, you must remain salty. Lighty ain't a word, but you know what I mean. You must remain lighty, you must remain salty. You must remain in your state because if you're not remaining in your natural element, then your surroundings would snuff you out, okay? If salt decides it doesn't want to become pure anymore, then it's not salt. And if light decides it doesn't want to become light anymore, it's not light anymore, okay? Light is light and salt is salt. Why? Because it's in its natural and pure state. So how do we do that? So um, salt is the covenant, okay? It's the covenant of faith. Faith in Jesus, the Son of God. Faith in Jesus, okay? Faith in Jesus' righteousness. That is the salt, all right? And the light, because Jesus is the light. Okay, so hold on to your faith. Do not divert from your faith. Do not lose your faith. 
Because the moment you lose your faith, you just lost your light, you just lost your saltiness. Okay? So hold on to your faith. Be firm and steadfast to the end. You are the salt and the light of the world. And this world is dying because it needs you. Okay? It needs you to remain in your pure state of saltiness and lightiness. Which is basically holiness, purity, and faith. Faith in Jesus. Okay? Hold on to that. And believe me, you will be changed in this world. And you will affect the people around you. For sure. I hope this blesses you. May the love, the peace, and the joy. Sorry to let one out for a second. May the love, the peace, and the joy of Jesus Christ be with you always. May his grace be of your spirit. Bye-bye.